गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर एकनाथ अहिरे फ्रॉम डिवेन कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी सटाना डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस अवर फार्मास्यूटिकल ज्यूरिस प्रोडक्ट सब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज ड्रग एंड प्राइस कंट्रोल ऑर्डर और एक्ट टू this is for final year b form students and for uh, the same subject for third year b form student also but its title is uh, different from this so for the third year b form students it having national pharmaceutical pricing authority or we can say nppa which is directly control over the drug and price control order act 2013 okay so both topics are same but uh, title is the different only okay so today we are going to see the who uh, who is actually controlling the pharmaceutical drugs price uh, prices okay so let's start with the session before starting the session we will take this motivational quote so dream of success and work hard for it so if you are dreaming for the success then you have to working hard to get success or to make that dream in a true okay so for making that dream true you have to work very hard so this is the motivational quote for the day with this motivational quote we will start the our introduction of today's chapter okay so what actually uh in this chapter we we are going to see regarding the introduction of the drug and price control order then history of it different amendments of the act objectives definitions then prices of bulk drugs then information required from manufacturer to the government then retail price of the formulation how it will be calculated and who will be directly control on the retail price of any type of formulation or the drug next is the power to fix price of scheduled formulation as i already discussed okay then fixation of the fixation of the price under certain circumstances circumstances then the power to recover over charge amount then control of sale prices of bulk drug and the formulation then sale of split quality or the quantity of formulation then schedules related with the dpco act 1995 then offense its offenses and penalties and references for the refer of this particular chapter okay so uh so uh if we we will discuss regarding the introduction of this act so we can say that the under the power of the confirm upon it by section 3 of the essential commodities act 1995 the central government has notified the drug price control order 1995 or we can say this act as a dpco act with replace the dpco 1987 so this act actually come in force in the 1987 and after that it is going to amended in 1995 and after 1995 it is amended and forcefully implemented in 2013 okay the central government passed the drugs and price control order in 1995 as i already said it uh, came in force on the date 6th of january 1995 and replacing the drug price control order with i uh, as i said 1987 okay so uh, 
we can see the some important uh, provision of this act so uh, one of them is a exemption of bulk drugs produced through the indigenous research from the price control okay so uh, which drugs are comes under the indigenous source okay uh, from the ancient india we are going to eat uh, or we are using that particular medicines so that medicines are exempted from this act then the reduction in the uh, number of forms as well and the simplification of the form and the information to be submitted so likewise many type of the uh, objectives are there and provisions are there to control over this act so here you can see the some definition so what is meant by drug so drug is the is a substance intended for use in the diagnosis cure or mitigation or treatment or the prevention of disease so that is called as a drug then next is what is meant by price actually price is the amount of money given or set as the consideration for the sale of a specified thing okay so this is called as a price then what is the control to exercise restraining or the directing influence over it. so anything which we are going to control or we are going to influence is called as a control then what is in the order so an authoritative command direction or the instruction is called as order so this uh, were the some of definitions related to this act then <clears throat> here is the some points the drug price control order dpco is and order issued by the government under the essential commodities act which enables it to fix the price of some essential bulk drugs their formulations okay then the origin of this uh, act is controlled dates back to the 1970s when for the first time the government placed limit on the uh, profitability of the pharmaceutical companies and government going to fix the prices okay so we can uh, we can discuss this some objective regarding this act so uh, i am going to discuss here some objective related to this act so first one objective is to ensure the uh, equitable distribution of essential bulk drugs so everyone or every, every person should ha have reached that particular medicine okay this was the first objective of this act then to fix maximum retail price of the drug formulation okay so next part is a fixation of the maximum retail price then to exercise government control over the prices of bulk drugs and the drug formulations then we can say to maintain and improve the supplies of the bulk drug and formulations with this act this is a one of objective of this act then to regulate the production distribution of bulk drug and the formulation by using this act okay so uh, these are the some introduction part of uh, regarding this act here you can see the history of amendments or the milestones in this act so recently the drug and price control order act was amended in 2013 before that it was amended on uh, 1995 and before this one it was confirmed by the section 3 of essential commodities act 1995 so it is uh, confirmed under this uh, section 3 of essential commodities act and by using this section the act was came in force in the uh, decade of 1970s here <clears throat> you can see the history of this act so in in 19 66 the parliament members felt that manufacturers charging high rate on drugs okay after that to control on high drug rates dpco act 1996 was 
pass under the section 3 of the Social Commodities Act 1955. After that, the Defensive Act 1966 replaced by the Defensive Act 1970s, as I already told. Then, in 1974, the Hathi Committee was formed and submitted its report in 1975. The Defensive Act 1970 replaced by the Defensive Act 1987. Then, the Defensive Act 1987 replaced by the Defensive Act 1995, and after that, finally, uh, the Defensive Act 1995 replaced by the Defensive Act 2013, which is the latest amendment in this Act. Okay. Then, here are the some milestone amendments uh, in a list. So, it was earlier amended in 1970. After that, it was amended in 1989, uh, 1979. After that, 87, 91, 95, and recently, it it was amended in 2013. So here we are going to discuss regarding in detail about this DPCO Act. So uh, in earlier section, we already discussed the introduction part and what is actually. Act act and what is the objective or uh, overall objective of this act or the superficial objective okay so let's start with this act in detail so here are the some objective of this act to achieve adequate production of the medicine to regulate equal distribution of the medicine to maintain and increase supply of bulk drugs then to make a fair prices so this was the some important objective of this or act or with this act so uh, the government has notified the dpco act 1930 uh, sorry 2013 under the essential commodities act 1955 which will give power to the nppa or we can say national pharmaceutical pricing authority to regulate prices of 348 essential drugs along with their specified strengths and doses under NLEM 2011. Okay. So, uh, the main feature of this act are this act are the new order of uh, will bring 348 drugs and their 652 formulations under price control and the new policy uses a market-based pricing mechanism against the earlier proposed cost plus method then the selling price would be calculated by taking a simple average of prices of all brands of the drug with a market share of one percent or the more then Margin of wholesalers and the retailers have been cut down to 8% and 16% respectively. So earlier the margin uh, of the wholesalers and the retailers was too high. So it was cut down and it was maintained in a uh, in an average level. Okay. Then monitoring the MRP of non-scheduled formulations and control over bulk drug manufacturers then control over formulation manufacturers then drug producers will be permitted an annual increase in the retail price in synchronized with the wholesale price index then here are the some functions of this act so first function is to implement and enforce the provisions of the drug price control order in accordance with the power delegated to it and to deal with all legal matters arising arising the arising out of the decision of the authority then uh, next function is to monitor the availability of drugs identify shortages if any and to make medicinal 
or the uh, remedial steps okay then to collect maintain data on production exports and imports market share of individual companies profitability of companies etc for bulk drugs and formulations then to undertake and or sponsor relevant studies in respect of pricing of drugs or the pharmaceuticals then to recruit appoint the officers and other staff members of the authority as per rules and procedures laid down by the government then next function is to render advice to the central government on changes or revisions in the drugs policies and last function of this act was to render assistance to the central government in the uh, parliamentary matters relating to the drug pricing so this was some uh, functions relating to this dpc act 2013 and many more uh, uh, functions are there relating to to this act so up to here uh revise all this uh all this topics in detail remaining we will take in next lecture okay so thank you so much for being here